Let's boot up the Witcher 2, talk to those dockers about getting paid, then go kill a big squid. That's what's on the cards for today. And it's going to be a grand old time. How was your nap? Still need to start these saves, I'm such a mess. One thing I did manage to do though, was do a wee bit of googling. Found some time for it, and we discovered that indeed, traps are not worth it. But when a trap, I've got a sign that can do just that. It's not worth hauling around all the equipment for that. Um, bear with me. Nope, I want journal. They don't just have to... Greetings. Oh, okay. Well, in the time between finishing my drawing yes. and um, this, I'm actually going to wait till daytime. Seems like the best choice. I doubt the dockers will be out at night, so let's noon it up. But yeah, in the time between drawing and this, I got more of my Irish mythology read. And um, right now what's going on is that there is a bloke, I've forgotten his name, it's like Aoin or something, and his wife, Maeve, who are both almost equally wealthy. They like, were trying to one-up each other one day with all their like wealth, and it turned out they had like most of the same stuff. But the husband has a slightly better bull, so the wife wants a better bull. And the better bull belongs to these Just people way over away, so the obvious the thing to do is to go to war with them and take that bull. And uh, right now, what are you there's just a hell. big fight going on. Or rather, a big fight being prepared for, because there's all sorts of curses at play, there's some treachery at play, because one of her people, one of her top guys, is loyal to the people whom she's trying to kill, so he keeps sabotaging her and she's not really figured it out. And it's just a whole thing, and it's all because of a bull. So, obviously, this is just telling me to go to her, where we can't do that, so I'm going to assume it's the other. No, not drink the potion. Who do I talk to to get paid? Alright, let's have a look. Okay, Aaron's there. No. Is the world. Welcome. Dock workers, right, is what she said. What? Damn it. At your service. Hi there. Let's talk to everyone around this general area. Greetings. Yeah, greetings. Is it these guys? Must be, because they were talking about Karens, right? Go ask the mason. Say something. Or did you just Going fart? somewhere, friend. Yeah, I want someone to, like... Pay me. Is it these guys? What are you looking at? Say something. Just, just be just quiet. Smarter. Ah! Well, that wasn't very productive. I'll go talk to her again, see what she says more specifically. Toll Maybe it's the toll collector. Let's find out. Might as well exhaust every option. It's very dingy in this house. Very dingy indeed, and I feel like it's going to be a huge waste of my time. Knew it. There's no one here. I am annoyed. Nice. A whole lot of stuff there. It wasn't a total waste after all. I'm just going to go chat with her then to see where exactly I'm supposed to go.
Mutant. How rude. Why does everyone pick on me when they know that I'm super strong? Seems like a bad idea. Any progress? I've got everything I need. Let's go. Before we set out, you must make sure we'll get paid. Talk, Talk to, to the merchant. Merchants by the warehouses. Alright then. That could mean anyone. So how's it going, dear? As it appears, I won't be leaving it soon. But please visit me again. <laughs> Just want to check my inventory a sec. Dixon, I've got some weight over there. And how do you find it? Was it worth it? Want me to wiki it? You know what? It'll probably speed things up, wouldn't it? Here comes the witcher. Can you agree? So how can... I need these guys to craft things for me? Interesting. Superb leather trousers, don't mind if I do. Let's see if that's actually an improvement for me, I think it might be. So what have I currently got on? Just got mage's trousers, which um, increases the sign that I don't use. So yeah, I feel like superb leather is going to be an improvement there. I do want to keep my um, herbalist's gloves those, because look, that increases the amount of alchemy ingredients I get feel at this point is quite useful and it extends the duration of oils so not bad at all so how just going to like see what i can craft for myself while you wiki where i'm supposed to go that's an end armor enchantment Go west from the inn, pass the guy with the cooking pot. Turn right, it should be in the up. Ah, well, I know the guy with the cooking pot. He's like, I don't stir the pot. I perform art on it. He's like, he's a real weirdo. So. Shouldn't take too long to find him. Oh, you've just got to shut up. Does it not get boring being so speciesist? So yeah, here's the pot. So, west, did you say? Pass the guy. Oh, I go west in the inn. Turn right. Should be open shed. I know I just turned left, but. I'm assuming this is the open shed then. What do you want? Heard you have a problem. Ah, if only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. The sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage alone. You can split that reward if you wish. Well, we're managing it together now, so as I see it, you should double the reward. <laughs> you jest! You'll double what you offered Lady de Tanzerville, because that's what the contract's worth. So be it. I assume you to be professionals and worth every last copper paid to you. It's a deal. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the Witcher, damn it! I've no knowledge of these things. Who could tell me more? That plowing elf. I already know all this. I don't need to know about it. 
I just need the money, and I used my Qui-Gon Jinn skills to get it. It's true, He's like a cat. All right, now I can, uh, presumably, go talk to, um... Croissant head. Nope, this is my inventory. I want my journal. Because I want to get on the correct thing. Because what does this one to do now? Who knows? Yeah, I'm feeling more confident than ever now going into, going into this because we've got ourselves some nice pants. Because one thing I was reading yesterday when I was like, oh, crap's worth it. A lot of the fluff I read also implied that, like, crafting at Smithy's is, like, a thing. Because I know I was getting loads of crafting materials I didn't know what to do with. I assumed they were to do with traps. But it's more that you take those to Smithy's and they make things for you. Oh, I need to talk to more merchants? Well, we'll see. We'll see what she says. Any progress? I've got everything I need. Let's go. Excellent. No, nope, she's Ready? happy. Are you wearing makeup? We all have our rituals. From what I know, Kaerims are colorblind. Enough, Geralt. Time to draw the beast out of the water. Got an ace up your sleeve? I always do. Don't get eaten, and we'll soon both be heroes. I hope you're right. You Geralt, descend like, into the lair. I'll stay on the bridge. Every woman in this game wears makeup. Take care. It'll be extremely dangerous. Everyone in any game ever that. made wears makeup. Even like the no makeup options on character creations clearly have quite a lot of makeup. Because people don't seem to know what women without makeup actually look like. Like Bogarts in that way, no one will ever know their true form. So, uh. You descend into the lair. Oh. I'll stay on the bridge and pull it out onto the bank. Take care. It'll be. Yeah, well, I'll get to the bottom then and I'll drink that anti poison potion. That, um. makes me 20,000% resistant to poison, as if that even means anything. By the way, do those Axie signs and like intimidations and things, do they just always work? Because I've never seen one fail yet in this game. Speaking of... Apparently, if you disable this, difficult QTEs, then there are no more difficult QTEs in the game, like the one that got me killed by that dragon twice. And uh, that doesn't count as playing the game on an easier difficulty or anything. You can still like get credit for beating it on like insanity with that turned off, so why would you even turn it on? It's weird. A weird bit of design is that. I hope I still have time to eat my, uh, drink my potion. Looks like I might just be thrust into combat. Looks that way, doesn't it? Rawr, I'm Geralt. Alright, but Geralt though? Huh, <laughs> I quenned like at the exact right time there. Oh look, those red saws are sort of making, um weak spots, are they not? Hey, thanks for the uh, tip. Ah. 
I get ya. But also, I think I'm gonna die. First of all, I need some plant. And that's the thing I should be like a million percent resistant to, but I'm not. Hey, Ren, mate, what are you doing? How did that not trap it? I feel I've been cheated and lied to here. So we'll quen. Eden. Come hit me. Yeah, don't worry, I'm just gonna quen it up. That's how I watch out for things. Let's pop another ear and down. You're gonna end up getting yourself hurt if you keep this up, Mr. Karen. Hit me with another one of them blibbly blobs. Oh, that should count. Uh, looks like that one has no weak point, so it doesn't count. Okay. going surprisingly well, isn't it? Quickly. It's about to break free! Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Take that. Jabbed you. Giving you a right good jabbing. Well, I have no idea what to aim for now, but I'll just pop her ear down. That'll solve everything, yeah? And lo, Geralt died by twatting his head against a rock. Marvellous. Yep, yep, that is indeed a game over. How far back did I go? Did I have the wherewithal to... S yeah, I did. Oh, but I'm not even... I'm still... I still can't drink the potion. Wahey! No potion for me. Hmm. Dickhead. Oh, the attempt must take too long on this. Ear them. Oh, hi. You're going to come at me now. Air my fucking. Oh, my goodness gracious me. At least so far, that potion seems to be the least of my problems, because its poison's quite easy to dodge. Let's 
So I'd rather see if I, uh, did I save anything before this? I'll just... I think I did. So I'm gonna chug me potion before going down. Yeah. So, where is it? So I will have my mongoose. Is that the one? Yep. And a rook. That'll be me sorted. Come on, Geralt. This doesn't need to take so long, Geralt. I don't know where we're in, but I saw a word flash down there, and all I read in the brief flash that I saw it was Strong Sandwich. So that's what I'm assuming this place is called. Strong Sandwich. And maybe I drank the potions a bit early, but I can't remember when the cutscene triggers. Hopefully this boss won't take, like, more than ten minutes of pure combat to beat. Yeah, there you go. Triggers here. Let's go. So, first of all, I have to immediately duck out of the way. And it would behoove me to drop a quen. Fucking hell. Then another Quen. Garrel. Boy. You come down and trap it. Oh. You I will, mate. I'm just trying to get my bearings. God. He's a big angry boy. All girl, as you um, rightfully pointed out. Alright, so I'm just going to roll around like a lunatic for a bit, get all my vigor back, and pop another quen. Hmm, that could have been the worst decision I've ever made in my life. Come on, Geralt, let's not get... Let's not play this game again. Right. <laughs> yes, way to point that out right now, Geralt. Bridge she's standing on, is it? So if so, that's going to be like a problem. Right, and now I just have to not die for a bit. Guys, I'm sorry, but I'm really bad at this game. This could take us a long time. I hope you don't mind that. Girls better video games. Went up immediately, young man. Fork. These things have like physical presence. It's annoying. Oh, 
and Geralt. You'd oil your sword as too. I know. It's angry. Watch out! It's gonna throw them more of the bridge. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Learning how to dodge these... <laughs> I need to learn how to dodge those tentacles properly. That is the key to victory. For definites. I'm so sorry. Let's see if we've got any good rubber balls. Tell it, let's go. Immediately a Quenna. Wonder how many more. Uh, just the one, Geralt. Just the one. Seems like that tentacle can hit here, so I'll hear it in here. Fucking hell, I'm bad. Bad at games. Come on, Garrett, more, more, more. I wish I could like save mid combat, just to sort of save my progress as it were. Come get me with this. Come on, yeah, get me with that one. You know you wanna. One more tentacle, and we've done it, I think. Quen's just in time. Jab up this joker! For God's sake, young man Quen! Alright, so now it's this that I'm not entirely sure how to deal with it. Assuming it's those big red glowing things, now that I think about it. Oh shit, my friend there. No, not fair. Not fair, shit. Next time I get to that point, I'm just going to lob bombs at it. That might be the idea, because I don't know why I was just losing health as soon as I touched it. So at that point, I'm going to lob bombs. That's what I'm going to do, see if that helps. I think we can do the first bit, no problem now. So first, let's... Um Get our old, what's it called? Come on, please. That's the one, Falcon's blood. Right. 
immediately, I would like to Quen and Earden. Angry Watch Out means just spin around for a bit. Just be rolling around at the speed of sound. Right. Drop an ear in here. That was my fault, I rolled the wrong way. But I understand its tentacle patterns a lot better now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Of course I want to load the last save game, that's what I've been doing this entire time, is it not? Is it not? So let's, uh, yep, come on, skip. Skip! Inventory. Why does oiling my weapon hurt me? I have the opinion that it shouldn't do that. Oh fuck. It's got owned in slow mo. Maybe you cut yourself by oiling it, maybe. It's angry, watch out! Oh shit. Well at least I can get my vigor back now. Like so. Pop the Quen. And an Eardon here. Oh, unfair? Fucking unfair! What? What shit was that? I just got bowled around the place. My fucking god. Yes, skip. When? We're doing this for money. Shit, you stink. No amount of money is worth this. It's angry, watch out! Got a Quen. Bollocks. Uh, you don't, don't you dare stun lock me. I knew he'd fucking do that.
Right, so this is Operation Drop Bombs. Quickly, it's about to break free. Yeah, I'm playing on Dark as well. And I don't care how difficult it is, I'm gonna win. At this point, my plan is to uh, plan up and drop bombs. Right, so, let's check my inventory. I don't know why none of my bombs are in my inventory. I think grape shot is a grape shot. Alright, I don't understand that phase at all. <laughs> I just don't understand it. Do I have to go the other way? The internet says don't approach the legs at that point. If only I'd have fucking read that. At least now I know. Don't approach the legs, but I'll find somewhere else. Okay. God, what a cheap fucking boss. I'm ready for you this time, though. I swear to fuck. what even hit me there. I didn't see a tentacle drop or anything. Bullshit! Total bullshit! Thank god I had a Gwen! So at this point I do not approach from the legs, I find somewhere else. Ha 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 ha! Laugh at my misfortune, will you? Right, let's get my grape shot out, just in case that does turn out to be useful. Let's 
do with this. Uh, it seems really dangerous. Feels like everyone here tried to walk up to the statue that fell down. Up the statue. Yeah, I did just walk up it and nothing seemed to happen. Fuck off! So once I get up here, what exactly am I supposed to do? Oh, just trigger a cutscene. Just triggers a fucking cutscene if I get to the very top. Okay, okay, okay. Here I was trying to be clever, but no, I just run to the very tippy top and then a cutscene triggers and the thing dies. Great. Fucking great. Well, hey, we did it. At least. Feels like everyone we here knows it. what to do except you, because you're bad fucking fight, stupid. You say, Geralt? Are you alright? No, I'm fucking stupid. The beast got me a couple of times. It did. I've heard you've been in more dire situations. I wonder, are the stories about you true? People are always talking shit. That's how legends are born. What now? I must harvest the most valuable ingredients while the corpse is fresh. I'd prefer to get the entire carcass to my laboratory and strip it down to the bone. Thanks, Prezo. That would be a waste of power Thank and you. simply too much work. I shall take... Only... What have you heard about me? A number of things. You won't talk about them? I've no time now. The fresher the ingredients I collect, the higher the price I'll get. Sorry. Farewell then. Don't forget to collect the reward. Oh, I won't. Is she just called King Kong? Am I making shit up? I'm quenning again. Fuck that boss. Between him and Mistress Sazine, I've had just about enough of fish-related bastards. Got your back, Chiak. Thank you. <gasps> Pick the herbs, though. Yes. Alright. I'm going to put my sword away, and I'm going to get that level up straight away, because I deserve it. So what do we have? First of all, I want to see if there's anything useful here. I never actually did anything with arrow redirection. I don't, I don't know if that'll be worth it. I want to upgrade my Quen immediately, I have decided. So where's that? Enhanced Ard sign, Enhanced Axie sign, Enhanced Quen sign. That's the one I need to get to. So I need to do at least one of these three first. I think Ard is probably what I'm going to use the most. So now that I've done that, I can get to that there, Quen. Oh wait, I still have another talent? Really? Eh, eh. Yes! Because my Quen is just everything. I don't know how much... I think it just blocks a hit. It doesn't block a specific amount of damage. But on a difficulty like this, that counts for a hell of a lot. Seven viewers. Nice. People were really brought in by the fishy spectacle, I see. Welcome all. I hope you're having fun. More fun than I had. Frequently dying to that big dickhead. Who, lucky for me, was ill and had contracted convenient weak points. I don't know what I, what I would have done had he not gotten those. Of 
because this game has no fast travel, I get to enjoy an immersive walk home. Probably put my sword away before I, like, go into town and accidentally kill another dog. Geralt's having a nice little jog. Probably all kinds of herbs I'm missing, but I no longer care. I just want my reward. There's probably going to be like, you know, 100 Aurans. But I want it anyway. You're famous now, dude. Yep, I have made it. To be fair, seven is like six more than I ever expected would watch me, so... Quid's in. Nah, not... <laughs> As soon as you had too many viewers, it went from 7 to 5. They must have heard you, Stallion Black. Don't cramp me. I want to get that Twitch fame yet. Right. Now, I'm going to take out sword. Do these things count as training dummies? Because I read... I read that if you destroy several training dummies, you get a 10% experience buff, and the game never told me. I read that online when checking if traps are any good. But you need to destroy ten, and like there are five training dummies in the prologue of the game. And if you get the five in the prologue, which obviously I can no longer do, um, then you can get that 10% experience buff in Act 1. If you miss the prologue ones, then there's literally not going to be enough training dummies in the game until Act 3. It's you or watching Kill Jaden Wipes. I don't want PTSD before we progress. So how's it nah. We're <laughs> We've got enough of that from the sassy mistress right now. I'm loving, by the way. That is the only wipe compilation we'll make. I don't care how many more wipes we have. I feel like a bit of one pound fish happiness was enough. Anything more will just get kind of sad. Now it's time to put the serious face on and win. Rain increased the damage dealt by signs that produce... Electrical charges. Quen sign becomes even better. Nice. Yeah, don't worry. The thing about mythic difficulty is it is difficult. And it hurts. And it's supposed to hurt. We'll get Maiden down. No, we'll get Mistress down. Then we'll get Maiden down. Then we'll get Avatar. Then KJ will all come. It will. But you've got to be ready. So just clamp a car battery to your nipples and just ride the current until we get there. And I am ready to clamp up tonight after this stream. Sorry, what did you say? Went AFK? Oh, I was just explaining that, you know, don't lose heart. Mythic raiding is, like, horrible by design, but we will beat it because we are strong. And we are gluttons for punishment. And then I got kind of kinky. Yeah, you came back to the kinky bit. You came back to car battery nipples. I was saying that mythic raiding is like clamping car batteries to your nipples. Which one of you bastards pays me? The one with the stupid glasses. There you are. No. You're mysterious. I want just a regular old. Is it you? Yeah, it is. Job done. The Kieran's dead. Good work. You've earned your reward. Squirrel How much is it? How much is it? The whole sun's. Come on, tell me how much it is. I'll just have to guess. I am guessing it was uh, 100 orange. Right. Journal. I'm going to do Indecent Proposal, proposal because I've explored monsters. everywhere, like, quite a bit. And I've not found any other Neckers nests. Or Indriga cocoons, so, um... It'll be interesting seeing how this Indecent Proposal plays out, given that, um... You know, he tried to murder me, like, yesterday. The reward is friendship. <laughs> Me and that merchant are now true friends for life. He'll come and save me at the very end of the game when all hope looks lost. He'll come help us during our own KJ progress. Here comes the witcher. 
you like a concordance of the Legion for helper buff, oh, like you get in the IELTS. Right, first of all, let's get rid of some junk! I did not get rid of as much stuff as I'd have hoped. Oh, the trophies give you stats now. The trophies give stats. The Neckers give magic. And the Drowner gives vitality. Because I get you, because the trophies are now a thing you can wear. You don't hand them into anyone. They are literally a bit of um a bit of loot. Good to know. I'm already wearing a Necker trophy, that's why I sold that one. I just never noticed before now that it had stats. So I'm going to sell these worn leather boots. Or am I? Yeah, I'm going to sell the mage trousers because they suck. Worn leather boots. I'm sceptical. What am I wearing? Did I somehow take my shoes off again? What have I got? I've got worn hardened leather boots. Yeah, okay. The reward is the good feeling in the bottom of the heart, man. You saved the people. Best reward. I just don't think you understand what motivates me. I would like to sell these worn leather boots. And Sword of the Blue Mountains. Is this good, though? Because one thing I've learned, one thing I've read about, again, incidentally, in this game, is that unlike in The Witcher 1, the swords you have aren't just the swords you're going to keep till the end of the game because they're way better than everything else. Swords and shit now have stats, and they might well be worth equipping over your other stuff. So, I've got a lot of those swords. Now, because I got the really nice swords from my Witcher 1 save, I'm assuming that I will still keep these for a while, so let's see what I've got. Diabelle, resistance to incineration, causes incineration, chance of instant kill 1%, 9 to 14 damage. Whereas these have 8 to 10, so yeah. These are not better than Diabelle, but I should check weapons that I get and not just chuck them away. So I think I will be replacing Diabell and Areola Light over time in this game, which is cool. That time it was a bit more of an RPG and not a... Well, yeah, you technically do have gear, but there's literally one bit of armor from the merchant you can buy. And even if you don't buy it, eventually you'll just get a better bit of armor from the storyline. Same thing with swords. Now it's actually, hey, make sure you're crafting shit and what have you. God's bless. So actually, I'll see if I can reduce my wait a little bit more by just crafting some stuff. Churning with this dwarf. So Craft me an item. Craft me this dust. Why not? What harm could it do me, really? Hmm, could have done with some diamond dust. Oh well. <laughs> it looks like the brains are the ingredient of all this stuff. I get you. Oh well. I'm sure I'll get more brains. No weapons in the world, just peace! <sighs> we can only hope. But until that day, it's true. I'm gonna... Dead. I'm gonna cut people's faces off and throw them onto Jesus' face. And before that even, I'm gonna drop a save and we'll meditate till evening and we'll see what Laredo has to say. If he even indeed has anything to say, he might just want to keep killing us. That mutant must be on the You know I can hear you. <laughs> Loot is better than peace. I agree entirely. You think I'm going to the tomb of Sargeras to save Azeroth and thwart the Legion once and for all? No, 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 no. I tell him. I'll no, it's pouch. all about the gear. Your, your pouch it's all about the Titan your... Forges. What did he say? He said, There's a third option. Are the kids following me? Because I'd rather they not. The reader wanted to see me. Commandant's busy. Come back after dusk. So it specifically has to be after dusk. So by evening, they guess I mean midnight. Because I can't seem to like. You can no longer be at all subtle with um. You know, the hours. It just has to be four bits of the day, so, uh, midnight, yo. Yeah. 
Peace will come when I kill all bad people finally. Well, oh. is that the kind of peace you want, though? What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant, too. You going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. Mistress has the Sea Star, which I desperately want. So, yeah. With these the cunts, you. Laredo can protect the port from a drunk lumberjack. Let alone Yorveth. He's succeeded so far, Roach. The port is rot. A ballista. The bastard's it... got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Mm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. In the prologue. Where did you learn about ballista? In the I prologue. I knew someone who knew a bit about them. In the prologue. How important. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Pontar. Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Nothing better than a fireside feast. And to think these drunkards <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. Peasants in uniforms. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get so, any better. Luckily the commandant provided it all. True. Lucky he hasn't realized Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story. Roach is upset that he doesn't think these people can defend against the Scoia'tael very well. So he wants me to disable one of their best defensive weapons. I understand the strat. Laredo's busy with that witch, Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Sheila's a good pal of mine. We recently, well, she recently watched me slay a giant monster. It was great. It's very tuneless. Very tuneless. How did you plan to get rid of the guard by the ballista? I have my ways. But you wanted to do it alone, so go talk to- Avi Heels! Got a 940 socket speed sea star. That's... I'm happy for her. That means less loot competition when we actually down it. Holy shit. Avi's definitely going to top meters now. You know, assuming Simmer dies under tragic circumstances. Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? You've had your song. Care for some real diversion. And Soldier, by that I mean me sex. <laughs> Alright, so I've got to do some sneaking. I've got to drop some eaves. Behind the building. Do I guess this way around Shut is the it, way. Soldier. Have respect for your superiors or spend the rest of your life there on the go. king's gun. We're in sneak mode now. In Flotsam, we cut the hands off thieves. I was looking for the privy. You're lucky the Commandant wants to see you. Come on! I like Come how Commandant, sir. We called the witcher sneaking around the garden. I failed that Bring him in section. and leave. Yes, sir. Literally the first We were just discussing a certain matter. You here on business too? Literally the, the first moment I can me. fail that I did. In that case, I shall leave you to it. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate. Now nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here. And the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. We were in a fight club, like, two days ago, do you remember? I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoia'tael had a hand in it, too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo, then. If you're telling the truth, Yorveth's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. 
those damn sorceresses wearing makeup and stuff. Yeah, and their fancy croissant heads. What about Vernon Roach? Why didn't you let him in? Roach? Know the aura that surrounds him? Men like him act first and think later. And when they act, almost inevitably innocent blood flows. I heard you killed the Cairn. Flotsam is grateful. Let's say that squares the crimes of your friends. They're free to go. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. A local conflict, none of my business. You killed some elves on the riverbank outside Flotsam. We were attacked. You failed to understand. It's you who doesn't understand, Lurido. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? A dwarf? No, talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. Well, did you play Witcher 1? People were saying that to me the entire time as well, and I just kind of did. And it worked out pretty fine. I, like, slew death and stuff, but no one really made a big deal out of it. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure, they eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. That uh, so, is not what I said. The town guards treat non-humans like shit. Frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. The hunger they'd face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of uh, insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a scoyatel arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favorable at the elf who sells your wife colored kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Yorvith's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists, on their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as their infamous leader joins them, the cherry on the cake and Bernard Lorito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves, and dwarfs will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices but I'm not blinded by them. Sure. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. I'm a witcher. I don't work for free. Of course you don't. Help us capture the Scoyatel commander, and you'll be rewarded generously, straight from the trading post's treasury. Um... I don't know. Like, what's even going to happen if I say sorry, no deal? Is he going to force me to... Is he going to try and kill me again? Who knows? But... Why would I take this deal other than money? I feel like the point of Geralt is, like, full-on neutrality. So I'm going to try and not get involved right now. I came and heard you out. Now I've heard enough. You're refusing to help? You're vile, Lorito. I hope you and Yorveth face what? each other someday. Why do we have to do this? The best do it, win. do what? Refuse or those words, Witcher. Take. I promise you that. Now get out of my sight. God, the, just the whole problem. I thought you'd have seen it for loot. <laughs> Take a stand against racism. That's the, all right. Jeez, I'm getting bombarded by too many fuzz. I'm sure I'm just in it for the loot, but also I want to find the Kingslayer. 
Witches don't get involved in wars. And as for taking a stand against racism. Entry only on the Commandant's Express order. Shut up. Um, the, the racism as it is in this game is like so Fisher Price baby's first understanding of civil rights, you know, um, altercations that it's just. It's difficult to take seriously in any way, because the elves themselves, as much as say, We don't even know why we're doing this. We're just doing it because of revenge and hatred. And the humans are like, We don't like non-humans because they look funny. And it's just like... Do the people that wrote this think that that's... Um, that's how it is. Don't you traits around here. Because that's shite. Don't you traipse around here! How am I supposed Don't to destroy you... that then? Alright, I won't traipse around here, I'm just gonna go. Whatever. Turned me away at the door, the bastard! Aww. We'll meet later. Don't forget your weapons on the way out. I shan't. Quest failed! I don't even... I don't know what's fucking going on. Oh well. That evening of getting fuck all achieved did at least level me up. There, now I think I have the strongest Quen sign possible. Let me see if there's any more Quen related things. Nope. So we'll go back to swords for now. Well, well. How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. Or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Scoia'tael prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kirin Epesnelen, Yorvet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit. At least Triss always has the answers. I tell him, I'm taking your pouch. Or your pouch. And your life. Seems my memory's coming back. I'll just throw that one out there. The massacre in Livia. It came back to me, I remember. The angry mob murdering non humans, a young boy with a pitchfork. Anything else? death, or a state close to it, I'm not sure. I felt life draining out of me. Uh, I was there. I arrived a moment later. Too late. Don't worry, Triss. They're only memories. We have bigger problems to tackle now. Something tells me that in recovering my memory, I'll find out a lot about what we're dealing with now. How's it living with Roach's soldiers? Splendid. I know every shit joke that anyone's ever thought of. Plus, I've learned how to burp out the official title of the Emperor of Nilfgaard without reaching for beer. Shorty's told me about his 16 children, all named after Temerian troop divisions. And I know his nickname has nothing to do with his manhood. Nice to know that you care, though. Glad to see you in a good mood. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. Who's the brave man? <laughs> Sorry, that's a secret. And here I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. Alright then, that was fun. Guards, maybe... What do you want? To speak with the wounded prisoner. Very funny. Go on away with ya! Commandant Laredo sent me to heal him. Who are you? A healer. Healing elves? That don't sound like a commandant. Are you questioning orders? No, of course not. 
Or finding below. They always work. I've never seen them fail. Shut your traps. Stop bloody moaning down there. Look, coffers dozed off. Wakey wakey, coffer. You'll fall asleep forever any day now. They beat him bad. He's got at least a dozen fractures. I'll need your help. What do I do? The spell I'm going to use is painful. It could kill him if he thrashes around. I'll use the Axie sign to calm him. Perfect. <laughs> Look, Birdie's all wet. I have to specifically do that myself, do I? Get ready, Birdie! We'll be there. What's the bloody meaning? No playing with your sword, got it? I so fucking understand anything. I'm pretty sure the only way to use my exit sign is to press. Oh no! No, it's just X, cast Oh, of course it fucking is, whatever. Pressing the button. Axie, 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 axie. It's no use. You wish, Horson. I'm no traitor. He's raving. That gun? Where am I? In Flotsam. On the prison barge. The convict's barge? I'm done for. We need your help. We need to speak with Yorbeth. Like hell, Dwan. I'll tell you nothing. There's a Witcher in Yorvith's unit. Like every Dwan. He turned out to be a bastard. What happened? He betrayed us. He said he had an offer for me. So we met. Where Roses of Remembrance grow. I should have known. Roses of Remembrance? Yes. Some of the last in the world. He thought that I'd betray my elven brother in order to control the unit. I refused. And there was a fight. I've never seen anything like it. No human can move that fast. It was a massacre. I was the first to be hit. Thus I survived. I would have bled to death had Laredo's men not found me. Letho will kill Yorveth, and all will be lost. So many dead, so much suffering. All for naught. Letho, he's the Kingslayer? Yes. Why does the Dwan want Yorbeth dead? He used us from the start. Our hatred. But he no longer needs Yorvath. Sees him as a thorn in his side. I don't know what Letho wants. What does Yorvath want? Why Flotsam? Go plow yourself. You've got no choice. Tell me, or I'll kill you. No! If I die, Yorvath won't learn the truth! Always works! Flotsam is only the beginning. We're no bandits, we fight for freedom! In due time, Yorvath will answer the call, and we'll emerge from the woods, joining the battle! What battle? He wasn't specific. In that case, I'll ask Yorvath himself. <laughs> I'd like to see that. We got what we came for. What now? Yorvath. What if Yorveth already knows? I've got an old saying all ready for him. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Warn him, Gwynplaid. Yorveth fights, for that is what he does best. He's Enshe, a real one, a free one, among the last. Fighting makes sense, now more than ever before. There is still hope. What are you talking about, Kieran? Hope for what? For change. For a better tomorrow, I'll not see it. They'll torment me to death on this barge, and I'll go gladly where the apple trees bloom. But you must warn Yorveth. Dramatic close-up. Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Oh no. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch. 
our island. We stopped counting time. People believe that the wraiths of the wild hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, never expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island. And they made off with Yennefer. I had to get her back. Return to reality. Return to the Witcher's path. What does this have to do with anything? Okay then. Geralt, are you all right? I've been to the Isle of Avalach, among the apple trees and the mists. After the massacre in Rivia, Suri took me there, and Yennefer. The Wraith Riders kidnapped Yen, and I pursued them. But... Triss, this is important. I feel like everything's coming together. When the Witchers found me barely alive a half year ago near Kaer Morhen, I was fleeing the Wraiths of the Hunt. They continued to pursue me, in the outskirts, then in Vizima, when I killed the Grand Master. Now I know it was no coincidence. Kieran mentioned roses of remembrance, growing somewhere near here. Cedric claims likewise. If that's true... Right now I should be searching the forest for Yorvith, not looking for flowers. But I'm always I doing that. I could restore your memory. You sure? Everything seems to indicate that. Whatever's blocking your memory is clearly weakening. I think I could break that barrier with just one petal from a Rose of Remembrance. Those flowers are truly powerful. In that case, Yorvith can wait. Want me to go with you? I'd love your company. All right then. Let's go. Cedric mentioned there are some old elven buildings near the Cascade in the forest. We should start there. Lead the way. Shut your traps! Stop bloody moaning down there! Look, coffers dozed off. Okay, time to get rid of amnesia or something. Look, birdie's all the <sighs> way. I know. Hey, birdie, you get wet just looking at me. All right, the quest says follow Triss, but Triss is following me. Fucking yay! Come on. Oops. I'm glad you're here. There we go. Needed a jump start, I guess. So I'll hit save. It's wet. Yes, because it's <coughs> raining. Fuck off! That's the weirdest sneeze I've ever heard. No one does that. Hello? Nice. Might as well, uh, kill these training dummies while we can. Don't know when I'm gonna get the ex uh, the experience buff, but, you know, the sooner the better. Oh, okay then. Allow me, if you will. I think I've got some insect oil. There we go. Oh, and I can um, enhance my armor as well. Do it. Why am I going in there without a What's wrong with me? <coughs> right, 
Right, there's a Scoia'tael over there, so... Oh, my Quen electrocutes them, that's cool. That's cute. Alright, let's get Diable out for this one. I'm gonna have to get Diable out for this one. Thank you. Fucking hell. Did you just die? No. I was just somehow able to pick the herb anyway. Okie dokie then. Sounds like a Necker! Wahey! Endless adventure to be found. Jesus, this is just a big old clusterfuck, ain't it? Oh, my friend lasts way longer now as well. That's cool. Whoa! Good thing I was um, rolling around with that charge might have killed me. Oh, come on! Hey, how quickly you get stun locked in this. Is it going to take me to like three days ago or something? I can't remember the last time I saved. No, good. Stupid game made of poo. Got about ten minutes left. We can probably clear up all the monsters out there in that time. After you. Training dummies have been sorted out. Alright, so knowing there's going to be a million baddies out there, let's pop a pot. I would like one of those since they seem to use poison. <coughs> and a rook. Are you barefoot again? I will check. It's definitely the sort of thing I might do. Certainly look it, don't I? How do I always do this? Lube up this sword with anti insect. Oh, I'll just go. Since there's um, necks and stuff as well, I will just go for. Bleeding's pretty nice, actually. I'll do that. Shit, you stink. Oh, yes. The Quen. What we're doing. I must also remember I can use grape shot and shit like that. I might give it a go go right now. Oh, that guard's just watching. Thanks, mate. Oh no, now he's. Now that we're clearly gonna win, he's decided to join in. Chris, you kill stealer. Right, there was a thingy here. There it is. 
damn it. Right, I'm all buffed up. Down, sit back. Do I have any Zarkanian Sun yet? No. Sun Moon's pretty good though. I'll burn through some of that for a bit. I need to more roll around until my Gwen returns. Oh shit! Off. Huh? We've run all over. I hope Triss is immortal. At least the loot. Once we're done with all this, it should be the stuff of legend. Another bufferoo over there. Circle of life. Treat oh, no, I can't treat myself to a save because another one on just turned up. At least there's some cocoons over there, I think. Oh, fuck off! I think coming here at night was a stupid idea. But probably also necessary for doing the quest night, I think of it. That'd be exactly the sort of way this works. Time for that. About two minutes. There's one of the little buggers. Can I save it? Can I save it? Okay, why not? There we go, we can drop a save. Hopefully start collecting all this bloody loot. Bound to be more than that. There we go. I saw some cocoons around as well. Go for them. Yeah, I think outside areas are more dangerous during the night time. He's already dead. Damn, you're ugly. I think this might be a dead cocoon. But it's still glowing orange, isn't it? I don't know, then I'll stick with Triss for now. Thirty seconds left. Because I can drop a save, knowing full well there's a necker up there, I know what we're doing on Thursday. Because I won't be streaming tomorrow, because tomorrow's reset day. There's too much to do in that there World of Warcraft. 
But hey, we killed a big squid today, so aces. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. It was a real lark. See you later.